Hello students. Topic of today's lecture is present continuous tense presented by Ms. Rizana Atta. So the definition says the present continuous tense is used to describe actions that are taking place in present time. Actions that are happening now. Present continuous tense is used to express ongoing action in the time of speaking or writing. Before starting the lecture, you need to revise what is sentence structure. For making any sentence, we need a subject, a verb or an object. Subject is the doer of the sentence. Verb is action word and object actually receives the action. Subject could be I, V, U, they, he, she, it or any proper noun. Subject can be singular or plural. For making present continuous tense, we need some helping verbs and these are three. Am, is, are. Am, is, are. These are the helping verbs which we are going to use with the main verb. Have you heard about present participle? Do you know what is present participle? Present participle is actually the form of verb. Verbs, those are ending in ing. Those verbs which end in ing are called present participle verbs. And they are used in present continuous tense. So remember, you have to use present participle form of the verb in present continuous tense. For making present participle form of the verb, we need first form of verb and ing. For example, write, writing. Sleep, sleeping, walk, walking. In this way, by adding ing to the first form of the verb, we can make present participle verb. Ing, ing, running and swimming have ing. Eating, drinking, sleeping too. So many words for me and you. I-N-G is the sound you need. Won't you come and sing with me? I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-N-G More examples are Call, calling. Draw, drawing. Sing, singing. Rain, raining. These examples will help you out to make more and more sentences. For making sentences in present continuous tense, we need subject, helping verb is, are, am, present participle form of the verb, which is also known as ing form of the verb, and an object. You need to learn that how to use helping verb with suitable subject. Am is always used with first person pronoun I. R is used with all the plural subjects and is is used with all the singular subjects. For example, I is used with am, R you can use with we, you, they or any plural subject and is you can use with he, she, it or any proper noun. Why I am going to explain it further by using helping verbs with different subjects. The first verb which I have taken is eat and the present participle form is eating. I am going to use it with I. I am eating now. So here you can see that I have used helping verb am 
and present participle form of the verb is eating. I am eating now. The next example is fly. Fly is the base form of the verb and the present participle form is flying. The next is play and the present participle form is playing. So I have used these words in my examples and I have used helping verb are. The birds are flying high. The kids are playing in the park. So here you can see that the helping verb are is being used with the plural subject. My next example is rain, raining. Raining is the present participle form of the verb. It is raining. And the second is cook, cooking. They are cooking pasta. So first one is it is raining. Here I have used is with singular subject and are with plural subject. Next example is for I am. The form of the verb is drive, driving, drive, driving. Driving is present participle form of the verb. So here you can see I am driving my new car. I am driving my new car. So I have used present participle form of the verb driving. Okay, so you have learned how to form sentences by using present continuous tense. We just need to have a quick review that we use present continuous tense to talk about actions and things that are happening now. For example, she is drinking cold water. John is reading a new book. My friends are jumping. I am running fast. So here is reading, are jumping, am running. They are actually telling us that something is going on in the present moment. So that is why we have used present continuous tense. So students, you have learned how to make sentences in simple present tense and those were just simple sentences. You can say those were positive sentences or affirmative sentences. Here we are going to learn how to make negative form of present continuous tense. What is the negative form? When something is not happening now in the present time. When something is not happening. For making negative sentences, in present continuous tense, you need to revise few of the things. The first thing is that you need helping verbs is, are, am. Is, are, am. And the present participle form of the verb, which is also called ing form of the verb. The next thing is you need to add not with these helping verbs. Where it has to be added? That is the important question. So you need to add word not between the helping verb and the present participle form of the verb. Then you can make negative sentences. For example, I am not. He, she, it is not. You, we, they are not. So here I am going to explain it further with examples. The best way of learning negative sentences in present continuous tense is you can compare the things which are happening and which are not happening. So here the examples are Saba is crying. She is not listening to me. So the first sentence Saba is crying is a positive sentence. But the second sentence is negative. She is not listening to me. Here you can notice that I have used word not between the helping verb and the present participle form of the verb. She is not listening to me. The next example is he is dancing. 
This is positive sentence. And the next example is, he is not sleeping. He is not sleeping. So it means this thing is not going on at the present moment. So here you can see that I have used not in between helping verb and the present participle form of the verb. There are more examples. My brother is not doing his work. I am not shouting at you. She is not cutting vegetables. They are not cleaning their rooms. So here you can see that I have used negative form of the sentences. My brother is not doing his work. I am not shouting at you. She is not cutting vegetables. They are not cleaning their rooms. So all these are actions which are not happening at the moment of speaking. So you have learned how to make positive and negative sentences by using present continuous tense. It is time to review that what you have already learned. So here quickly we are going to revise what we have already learned. We have learned how to make positive and negative sentences in present continuous tense. So for making positive sentences, we need a subject. Helping verbs is, are, am. Present participle form of the verb means ing form of the verb and an object. Then we can make any positive sentence in present continuous tense. For example, I am doing my work. She is watching TV. They are playing outside. So these are the examples for the positive sentences in present continuous tense. Here we are going to revise how to make negative sentences in present continuous tense. The same sentence structure we are going to follow, but we need to add not in it. Subject. Helping verbs is, are, am, not. Remember the word not is important because we are going to make negative sentences. Then present participle form of the verb. Do remember present participle form of the verb means ing form of the verb and an object. And here you go. You can make many sentences. Remember. I told you when you need to learn how to make negative sentences, the best way is you have to compare which things are going on and which things are not going on at the present moment. Then you can learn the negative and positive form easily. Here are the examples. Adam is riding his new bike. This is the action which Adam is doing right now. Adam is riding his new bike. And what Adam is not doing right now? Adam is not driving his old car. Adam is not driving his old car. So here are the two actions. The first example is for the positive sentences and the second one is for the negative form. Now look at these four pictures and the base form of the verbs which are given. Ride, read, sleep, and run. These are the first form of the verbs. First, you need to change them into present participle form of the verb. What you have to do? You have to add ing to them. Write, writing. Read, reading. Sleep, sleeping. Run, running. So after making the present participle form of the verb, you need to add helping verbs. Do you remember? Is, are, am. Is, are, am. Am is to be used with I. Is, we use with all the singular subjects. And are, we use with all the plural subjects. So, look at the picture number one. A boy is writing something. In the second picture, the boy is reading a book. In the third picture, a man is sleeping and in the fourth picture, the girl is running fast. 
So in this way, you need to apply all the rules which you have learned how to make sentences in present continuous tense. Then you need to remember how to make negative sentences by adding not to your sentence. You need to add not after helping verb and before present participle form of the verb. So I hope that you have understood the concept very well. Now it's quiz time because you have learned the concept very well. So here I'm going to give you some of the blanks to fill by using all the rules and things which you have learned for making present continuous sentences. So the question is fill in the blanks. Remember, you have to use helping verb is or am according to the subject. If it is singular, you have to use is. If it is plural, then you have to use are. If it is first person pronoun I, then you have to use am and present participle form of the verb where you have to add ing to the given base form. For example, the first Sentence is, he dash not buy chocolates for me. So this one is negative sentence. You have to keep in your mind that if there is given not with the form of the verb, that is negative sentence and the rest are positive one. So do remember all the rules and just fill them up. Second one is, they dash cut bushes. Number three, I dash type a letter. Number four, my sister dash not clean the floor. Number five, her parents dash scold her. So now it's your time to fill the blanks independently without getting any help from any elder. I hope that you have done your quiz very well. So here are the answers you can recheck. Number one is, he is not buying chocolates for me. Number two, they are cutting bushes. Number three, I am typing a letter. Number four, my sister is not cleaning the floor. Number five, her parents are scolding her. So in this way, you can do practice at home and you can make many sentences by using present continuous tense. I hope that you have learned the concept very well. So it's practice time. I know that you love to play, so I have used all the verbs which are related to your fun activities. Swinging, sliding, kicking, hanging, playing, jumping. So you need to use all these present participle form of the verbs in your sentences. First try to make positive sentences, then try to change them into negative form. Remember, you have to use helping verb is, are, am is, are, am. Then for making negative, you have to use not after helping verb is, are, am and before present participle form of the verb. In this way, you can make as many sentences as you can and you are going to learn present continuous tense very well.